After a very difficult yet beautiful 76 kilometer bike ride yesterday, we were in desperate need for a recovery day and found ourselves at Dogo Onsen, Japan's oldest onsen and also where the bathhouse from the movie Spirited Away is based on. Legend has it though that there once was an egret with a broken leg that would come soak in these hot springs every single day and over time it completely healed. The people saw this miracle and started bathing themselves as a way to relieve their fatigue and recover from illnesses. To commemorate this spot, there is now a rock known as the Sagi Ishi or egret stone that is located right next to the station that all of us can stop by to visit. As for us, we're just really hoping those healing properties will work their magic and help us recover. Unfortunately right now, Dogo Onsen is closed due to reconstruction and hopefully it'll open again by the time Japan reopens its borders. But fortunately for us, there is also an annex building here in Dogo, which is fully open right now. And so we're gonna go check that out for this trip. I got a ticket. We just came into the onsen and currently in the rest area. We are getting ready to change and get into the onsen soon. I feel like we cover a bunch after the onsen and now just relaxing and chilling in the second floor's balcony. I feel so good, like uh, compared to yesterday's hard day and this is definitely what I need. At Dogo Onsen, there's several plans that you can choose from, including one that's just the bathing option in the onsen. But for more money, you can actually select a couple options that include a resting area like the one we're at right now. There's also options to have a private resting area or even a private bath. For all the more expensive options, they all include a free rental yukata, as well as a tea and snacks that you can enjoy while you're relaxing. Fun fact, at the bottom of the cup is the symbol of Dogo Onsen, the egret. The Doku Onsen also has their own craft beer. This is called Bochang and this is Doku Orange Ale. Near Doku Onsen, there's a little cute, adorable shopping street, and you can explore and then discover a lot of like orange juice, a uh, souvenir in this area. Ehime, the prefecture that we're in right now, is really famous for their oranges or mikans. And so you gotta have some delicious orange juice while you're here. That's so cute, so little faces on it. And another specialty of the Ehime area is the Thai meshi. So it's the sea bring fish on top of rice. And so we've ordered a freshly caught Thai meshi for tonight. And so we'll see what that looks like. So the Thai meshi was pretty good. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but since it's one of the famous foods in the area, I feel like we had to give it a shot and try it out. The process to make it is actually kind of fun, but the portions are pretty small. It may not be worth it to wait in the queue as a lot of these restaurants have a really long line in order to get in. So whether Dogo Onsen has healing properties or not, it's hard to say for sure. But a trip to Japan's oldest onsen is definitely worth it as you get to experience a lot of the history as well as a lot of the local delicacies in this area. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Compared to yesterday's uh, hard exp hardcore experience. Hard <laughs>